going on the search for the ultimate fan at Old Trafford. I'm here to speak to Peter Bolton, who hasn't missed a game since 1974. Yeah, well, my dad took me when well, me and my brother, well, my brother and I, when in the early 60s, we used to go in the United Road, and the first game I actually remember going to was 1963, the FA Cup final down at Wembley. On the home game front, I, uh, the last one I missed was 1974. Um, it was Christmas time, it was December, because I wasn't into every game then. And I, and I remember missing that one, and I know I've not missed one since December 74. Uh, away games, I think the last one I missed was probably uh, European away when it was 9-11 and we were playing in Greece and all the planes got cancelled. And then they rearranged the game for the week after, or the two weeks after, and I couldn't get the time off or the flights. We just got reimbursed with our money. So that was what 2001 was the last game I missed, sort of worldwide, really. I've been to every continent and 40 odd countries, but uh, I've seen United in Japan for the World Club Cup. I've been to Australia, and America, uh, every European country I can think of that, that we've played. I've seen them as in South Africa, uh, China, Hong Kong. England, Scotland, Ireland and Wales. <laughs> My two favourites was Moscow in 2008. That was really, really special. We went for uh, quite a while there, you know, that most of the week. And then following up on that, a few of us um, as, as a group, but I think there was about a thousand United fans went to Japan for the World Club Cup. And that was special. The Japanese people just thought, you know, they, they looked after us so well and uh, we had a, a great uh, two weeks there. I mean, it was a funny thing because that was in December and as a self-employed taxi driver to have two weeks off in December is a bit of a nutty thing to do but uh, I, I had a choice of either work and earn money or go and spend money watching United and I, I chose United. I think every instance in life I've chosen United over it. I mean, uh, I, uh, when I met my wife um, in uh, January in 1976, we went out, we met her at a club and then they, we went out to the cinema that week and then she said, oh, are we going out on Saturday night to the club? And my automatic answer was, well, sorry, it's Tottenham away tonight, uh, to, you know, Saturday, so I won't be back in time, you know. And so, uh, like from day one, my wife, from, you know, I've met her nearly 40 years now, she knew from day one that football was uh, a priority. I don't know, I mean, a lot of people don't like what we call the day trippers, but they make it sometimes. I mean, there's that, the, the call of United fans. Now, if you go to any away match, I mean, if we're playing in Newcastle, there's United fans up there that are Scottish United fans and Cumbrian United fans and Cockney United fans and Manchester United fans and from all over. But I think we've got the biggest array of songs out of all the clubs and, uh, you know, a, a broader section of songs and it's not just the same three songs and keep going. I do think that they're very important and, and we have, uh, you know, even when we weren't the top team, you know, like in the in the 70s and the 80s when we weren't that good and other teams were much better than us, we still got the biggest attendance and a lot of people have got very short memories that, you know, we've, only, we've been doing well for 20 years and some people, if you know, you're less than 30, you've only seen success, but the people who are over 30, we've seen some dire teams and dire players playing for United. <laughs> I don't, I don't know, everybody's different. I mean, I've seen some fans from other clubs that, you know, they go and watch every team and I've never said that I'm the best fan or even one of the best fans. There must be lots of other fans that, at other clubs that do the same as us. I mean, fans that have been following, I saw somebody um, from Blythe or Gateshead or something and he said he's not missed a Blythe game for 30 years. And I thought that that's great. And I said, I'm, I'm nearly there as well, but because we've been in Europe for 20 consecutive seasons or whatever it is and playing 10 games away in Europe, you know, five, six, seven games away in Europe, it makes a very, very expensive hobby for me. It's just, it has to be done. I love doing it.